A lot of you are young in this room. I want to teach you something that I learned that changed my life also. Everything that changed my life came from God. I just got to keep talking to you like that. You understand? But I'm a real dude, though. I'm not a fake person. I am an imperfect soldier for Christ. That's what I am. Keyword, imperfect. Because I know I still do some things that ain't, you know what I'm saying? I smoke cigars. I gamble. I shoot dice. You know, dice, craps. Hustle. I uh, I still see women as beautiful. I don't do nothing about it. I just see you now. Now, 20 years ago, Lord Jesus. But I have learned even how to see beautiful women and be spiritual about it. Because, you know, out in Hollywood now, this Me Too movement, this real. They, they taking careers out here. So when I take pictures, I've been taking pictures all over the place in Jamaica. You see me taking pictures? You see all my fingers. Oh, I had a woman all up under me last night, hand on my chest. You go ahead. I ain't got nothing for you, man. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with this. But I found how to be spiritual. So now this is how I do it. Whenever I'm walking and I see a beautiful woman, I have found a way to get it out my chest, but stay spiritual. So when I walk by and I see her, I go, Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because my wife, man, is like the chick of my dreams, man. And I told you, I've been married twice. I've been through it. When God gave me this chick right here, whew, he saved my life, man. He saved my life. I tell dudes all the time, you can be a successful man without a woman, but you'll never be great. You can be successful. Oh, you can sign a record deal. You can sign a basketball contract. You can get a promotion. You can open a company. Can't be great without a girl. You've got to have a woman. It's just they do so many things. They do so many things we don't do. Women are amazing. Seriously, you know, listen to me, fellas. Listen to me, for real. When you have a wife, that's the right word. That's a powerful chick. She look out for you. She cover you. Where you going? I said, I'm going, sir. Look at your elbows. I, I can't see my elbows. What is you talking about? Look at your elbows. How? Put some lotion on, Steve. If I didn't have her, I'd be out somewhere. Then I turn around. Next thing I know, I'm on TMZ. Steve E, dude. Steve Harvey. Them ash ass elbows. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, see, I've been up here 45 minutes. I told you, so that sorry about that. Sometimes that wasn't that bad, though, was it? Y'all yeah. have heard that. I didn't mean. I don't mean to be disrespectful in any way. I respect your company and all that you're doing, but you know. But let's be real too. This ain't church. Let's just stop. <laughs> This really a ballroom at a convention center. Y'all ain't put a cross up or nothing. Did y'all open this up with a devotion? Oh, okay. So. <laughs> I, I tried to find a loophole. Did y'all open it with a devotion? Yes. Oh, okay. My bad. Real, real Christians in here. <laughs> what was I getting ready to talk about? Oh, I'm going to tell y'all something really wonderful. Albert Einstein has a quote that changed my life. I'm going to give it to you. Because this is for everybody in this room. Because it's something that we all have and you may have never understood. Albert Einstein said, Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attraction. I want you to listen to me now because this this, this going to be my last thing. But this is so good. If you can get this right here, this can change for you. Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attraction. You know what that means? That means everything you see in this world came from somebody's imagination. Everything. Somebody was talking on one day and it was connected to the wall. And they was walking and they went, man, I sure wish this phone would go outside. Everybody in here got a cell phone. Somebody was sitting there going, man, woo we ought to go up there to that moon. They go up to the moon so many times now, they don't even tell us when they're going no more. The Wright brothers said, man, I want to fly like a bird. They laughed them out to gym. I flew over here on one of the birds. Matter of fact, you can't get here unless you come on the bird. I guess they got boats that come over here, but ain't nobody finna come to Jamaica and take a week. And if all y'all left Jamaica, you'd have been on the airplane. Somebody imagine that. Imagination is everything. See, you've been thinking all this time that your imagination was just some hocus pocus. It ain't. It ain't. I'm finna teach you something now. I want you to hear me on this one. 
But this is the most powerful thing that I can tell you today. Albert Einstein had that quote, but Albert Einstein took that quote out the body. Oh man, oh this is cold. See, I started listening to big boys that were spiritual, that had got money, because I knew I was going to have to be both, because I didn't want to be no hustler with money or nothing like that. I wanted to be a legit businessman, but I wanted to have money. There's nothing wrong with having money. I don't know who you've been talking to that's been telling you all these sayings about money. Money, money is the root of all evil. Money, money can't buy you happiness. Well, okay, money can't buy you happiness, but I tell you what though, it'll park you right in front of Happy's house. You can at least see if he home. <laughs> this, this thing about your imagination, your imagination is actually real. See, listen to me. Albert Einstein took the second half of my mother's favorite scripture. My mother's favorite scripture is, and you've all heard, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Oh, I'm in front of the right crowd now. I usually tell that to people, they be going, what, where's that? Faith is the substance of things hoped for. You know what that means? It just means, really, that the pure essence of faith, it ain't nothing but hope. That's why you hear people keep hope alive. Because if you keep hope alive, there's a chance it can resonate in the faith. Let me show you how this works. You remember when you was little and you was hoping you got a bike for Christmas and you went downstairs and it was a bike under the Christmas tree? You was hoping. Remember that time you hoped you graduated from high school and you messed around and got a diploma? Then remember you hoped you got a job? Ain't all y'all working? At one point in time, you're going to have to get smart now, people. All that hoping... After you become an adult, it shouldn't be hope no more. This ought to start turning into some faith. You got to go, man, I done hoped hard enough and God gave it to me. What's the matter with calling it faith? Quit hoping, man. Turn it into faith. Faith is the belief in things that you cannot see. You got to ask God for something. Remember I told you, write it down. Ask for something from God. You don't know how in the world you're going to get it. That's what ought to be on your vision board. Don't put a bunch of stuff on there you can get. Here go my vision board. Uh, I hope I can make it to the end of that stage over there. Put that on your vision board. What is I'm doing that for? What is I'm hoping I got to do? Walk over there. Why is that on the vision board? You know what's on my vision board? Things I have no idea how I'm going to get. I got $3 billion on my vision board. So why you got $3 billion on there? Because that's how much I want. Why $3 billion? I don't know more than one. What you going to do with $3 billion? I have no idea. But <laughs> when I get it, you will know I have it. Somebody says, Steve, how we going to know you a billion? Cut your TV on, you ain't gonna see me on it no more. <laughs> That's how, because I'm out. Look, man, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now, check this out the second half of that script and the evidence of things not seen. Here go the lesson your imagination is the evidence of things not seen. You know why it's the evidence of things not seen? Because your imagination, you're the only one can see it. Nobody can see your imagination but you. But God places what he has for you in your imagination. Your imagination, remember I told you that Einstein's theory was imagination is everything. It's a preview to life's coming attraction. Your imagination is a preview of a coming attraction God has for you. That's 
what your imagination is. That's what it's been this whole time. All them times you've been imagining being rich, that wasn't just up there. God put it in your head because that's what he got for you. Thank you for watching our video. Check out our other motivational videos that will help you turn your life in positive direction.